Since 1946, for more than 70 years, King's College has been a source of opportunity for people motivated to make their lives better. The thousands of monarchs who came before us have learned, they have grown, they have evolved. They have positioned themselves to learn not only how to make a living, but how to live. The King's version of the Holy Cross experience works and the success stories of tens of thousands of alumni prove that it works. But it hasn't always been easy. From our lean founding days with scarce resources, to devastating floods, to economic disasters, and yes, to a global pandemic, we know adversity. And we know how to meet and overcome adversity. For every challenge in our history, the people of Kings have seen us through. Because of them, our mission endures. And in that spirit, this year is no different. But what is different this year is how we celebrate our graduates, how we transition our monarchs from students to alumni. And while we cannot be together side by side to share this day, we have come together in a new way to honor the extraordinary members of the King's College class of 2020. Thank you for being with us to celebrate and welcome to the 2020 King's College Commencement Ceremonies.
Good afternoon. Please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Graduates, it's a real privilege for me to be with you today. As we prepare to send you into the world, let us pray. Good and gracious God, we acknowledge your presence on this great day of celebration as we lift up to you in prayer our graduates. This day, more than ever before, reminds us that for all that you have entrusted to our care and for all that we have learned, we are all still vulnerable souls powerless in so many ways and very much in need of a power bigger than ourselves to guide us through this world and throughout our lives. We name you as that power, O oh God, upon whose love and mercy we depend. And we thank you, O oh God, for the many ways in which you have blessed our lives. We thank you for parents for families and all those who have nurtured and cared for our graduates, who have sacrificed much, and who have created environments in which love grows and lives flourish. We thank you for the educational experience that our graduates have received at King's College, an experience built on the foundation of our Catholic faith. We thank you for teachers, for colleagues and friends who have walked the journey with our graduates and who have helped to make them who they are this day. We thank you for the gift of faith that ever reminds us of your abiding presence and gives hope. And finally, we thank you, O oh God, for our graduates, for the gift of their lives, for all that they have achieved, for their openness to your presence and for their selfless commitment to service, particularly in the face of the health crisis that has enveloped our world, a commitment that seeks the well-being of every life that you weave into their own. Walk with them this day, O oh God, into a new chapter of their lives. May the dedication and perseverance that have brought them to this moment Carry them forth to build a world marked by peace, justice, and compassion beyond measure, while always mindful of your grace and presence abiding within their hearts. Amen. Good afternoon, students, faculty, staff, and families. My name is Tara Johnson, and I am humbled by the opportunity to welcome you all to our virtual ceremony this afternoon as the Vice President of the Senior Class. Wow, what a journey we've had. I believe I am not alone when I say I would like to extend a heartfelt thank you and appreciation to our parents, peers, and professors for not only the guidance and support they've provided us the last four years, but especially in these last four months. When we were first greeted on campus and separated into our first year experience groups to parade to our president's welcome, we shared the feelings of excitement and nervousness, but also thinking ahead to how in our future, for, in four years, we would be following in a similar fashion while wearing our black gowns, hoods, and our uniquely decorated caps. Who would have thought on this day we'd per be parading through our living rooms and our, I'm watching it on a screen instead. As a senior, this experience has been especially difficult but also I believe it may have benefited us all in a certain way, whether we were able to see it or not. I, for one, am so very proud of my classmates for how they've overcame the transition to online learning and were still able to finish immaculately and persevere through their courses during such an uncertain time. Although our time at King's was unfortunately cut short, right before we were about to make some of the absolute best memories, which we watched all of the classes before us make, waiting for our turn, it also provided us with a moment to reflect on the time we were lucky enough to have while at King's. While I looked back, I thought about the lessons I've learned and the people who I experienced the most ups and downs with. As I was thinking, more and more came to mind. And when you hear this saying, King's not only teaches you how to make a living, but how to live, it is undoubtedly true. Not only did I learn about becoming an educator of young minds or form my mind better through the liberal arts education, but I also learned life lessons more about myself and about the world as a student at this college. 
I also thought about all the people who helped teach me these lessons and who were by my side through the best memories and the worst. I strongly believe everyone listening can say they made at least one true friend while at King's who they know will be with them forever and also may be able to say they had a transitioning moment. While it was more than upsetting to have a wrench thrown into our plan of finishing our senior year on campus and forcing us to say our goodbyes earlier than expected, we were also forced to slow down and really think about life and our time at King's. At first it was unfortunate to have to uproot and be sent home, but it was truly a blessing in disguise because we were all able to spend more time with our families before we began the next steps in our lives. Plus our parents were happy they could see us in person and stop the King's cash transactions for a few months. It truly showed God has a plan for everything and in times of uncertainty that we have to trust in him. Another thing I, as well as my classmates, enjoyed about our school is how well-rounded the environment shaped us and how active we were able to be within the campus. During my time as a student, I competed year-round as a student athlete, worked as an admission ambassador, had the pleasure of serving on student government all four years, was able to become familiar with students while being a resident assistant, worked with the Hope Peer Educators, and still had time to prosper in the education department. That is one thing I've always loved about King's, is the fact that while such a small campus, you can be involved in so many activities and roles at the same time. Another blessing in disguise was the opportunity to slow down and breathe for a moment when everything suddenly stopped which while we're all preparing to begin the next journey we have set up for ourselves, it was needed after working so diligently for the last four years. Thank you Kings for staying true to your motto and teaching me not only how to make a living, but how to live. While all of our journeys to Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania vary greatly, whether a first generation student or a legacy, we all are able to say we have one thing in common in graduating as a monarch. Four years ago, I sat in an all-literacy class on Education Day and could not take the smile off of my face and knew in my heart this was meant to be my home for the next four years of my life. Not one day goes by where I felt that I had made the wrong decision. I would not be where I am today if it were not for the professor, staff, and friends I have interacted with while at King's College. I also would not be the person I am. I am grateful that this school and the people have provided me with the opportunity and resources I need in order to take the next step which for me is to move to Baltimore to pursue my master's degree while fueling my passion of teaching fourth grade at St. Francis of Assisi. I cannot put my appreciation for all of you into words. Class of 2020, we did it. We've not only persevered through rigorous classes and overcome adversities, but we also did what no one else has ever done. Perhaps it's my elementary school mind speaking, but when I think about what to leave you with while thinking of our various future paths, the quote that comes to mind is Dr. Seuss. Will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and 3 fourths percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. We did it, class of 2020. We're amazing. And continue leaving your monarch mark on this world. It is my pleasure to introduce someone who I've always enjoyed hearing speak at events and is always a smiling face while passing on campus. Please enjoy listening to the wonderful words of our president, Father Jack Ryan. And remember, it's always a great day to be a monarch. Thank you. Thank you so very much, Tara. Dear graduates of the class of 2020, there is an old saying that goes that if you want to make God laugh, tell God your plans. Yes, you often plan one thing and life serves up quite another. We planned together to be here in person for this graduation. Yes, it would be far better if we could hug or shake hands or simply to see the excitement and joy in faces. It would be much better if we could do these simple physical gestures, gestures that speak volumes about the way we value each other, silent gestures that you let you know that your time here at King's mattered a good deal to a good many, gestures that let you know that you are unique and your unique time here at King's College is this institution's unique life's work, our mission. Each of you, in part, is stamped with an invisible seal that says, made at King's College. We are proud of you. We are proud of what we do here together at King's College. 
Now, instead, we find ourselves celebrating graduation virtually. But make no mistake, this ceremony may be virtual, but your achievements are so very real. No one, no event, no thing, no COVID-19 can take away your hard-won accomplishments of earning a degree here at King's College. Nothing can negate, cancel, or rob you of your hard work, your patient diligence, your hours of development and growth in various campus settings. Yes, the pandemic does steal certain opportunities for certain kinds of memories and meetings and ceremonial goodbyes. But no pandemic, nor anything else for that matter, can steal your education or your educational experiences. They are yours for life. They are yours for all eternity. Class of 2020, your story will include massive social, economic, and public health challenges that face us all. I'm sorry for these hardships, but they are your opportunity as well. You have already demonstrated your ability to overcome challenges of all kinds while here at King's. I know your journey to this graduation has not always been an easy one. Many of you have worked substantial hours to help finance your education while you carried a full course load. Many of you invested a good deal of time to service activities, internships, in athletics while simultaneously engaged in your academic studies. I congratulate you on all that you have accomplished. The education and the skills you take away from this campus will open doors forever. And I congratulate you on having the foresight as well as the determination to see this through. Please use these same gifts of fortitude, resilience, grit and goodwill to help build a better world. Our mission statement here at King's states it so well. King's forms graduates who will champion the inherent dignity of every person and will mobilize their talents and professional skills to serve the common good. Dear graduates, there have been few times in history when our world our country, and our local communities have needed your talents and goodwill more than now. Please courageously champion the inherent dignity of every person. Please selflessly use your talents and professional skills to serve the common good. One of my true joys as president is to meet alumni of King's College all around this country and hear of their remarkable accomplishments. I look forward to the time, years ahead, when I or succeeding presidents will meet you and feel so very proud of all that you have done. As a graduate of the class of 2020, you will always have a special place in my heart because of the special set of circumstances we have overcome together. Remember always that you are in my prayers. Remember this too, wherever you go and whatever happens in life, you will always have a home here at King's College. May God continue to bless your life's journey. It is now my pleasure to present our commencement speaker, Rabbi Larry Kaplan. Rabbi Kaplan is known respected and loved for his wit, humor, and wisdom by so many in this local community. Religious teacher, leader, and friend, I present to you Rabbi Larry Kaplan. Dear friends, 
President Ryan, Bishop Bambera, distinguished faculty and staff and guests, and dear graduates. These were the first two words that came out of my mouth when I read Father Ryan's letter inviting me to speak to you and to receive an honorary doctorate. I know these are words uttered with reverence and respect at King's College, said prayerfully and piously. I don't believe my intonation of those words quite matched the usual reverence with which they are intoned. So when I read the letter, I just exclaimed, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so I, I open by confessing that I spoke of him in a less than spiritual tone. My second comment is that I really feel bad that we could not all join together here today in person. I've waited a long time to be in the presence of so many non-Jewish folks and to not be the only one with a head covering. So thank you graduates for wearing your mortar boards. King's has meant a great deal to me ever since my family arrived in 1998 to Wilkes-Barre. That year, Jerry and I were invited to participate in the Leadership Wilkes-Barre executive class, and our opening session was a dinner held at the King's Administration Building on the top floor. And I was asked to offer a blessing before we ate. And I said, it's particularly fitting that you asked me to say that blessing because just above us, on the roof of this building, is that other Jewish fellow with his hands spread wide welcoming all of us. And I appreciated that and felt so comfortable. A few years later, I was leaving an 8 a.m. Bible course that I was teaching here at King's, got into my car a few minutes after 9 a.m. as reports were coming in that a plane had struck the World Trade Center. It was September 11, 2001. And when I got back to the office and I realized what had actually happened, I recall thinking that no one will ever forget this moment in history. And as I address all of you graduates, I realize that you were probably having your diaper changed at that time. And you may be thinking no one will ever forget graduating from college virtually due to a coronavirus pandemic in 2020. It's also a time of unrest and anger and passion for justice and change. And I don't have anything of value to add to that discussion, but I may have a few quotes from the Bible which may help us to make progress without getting too upset. Words which, if you take them with you as you embark on the challenges of life ahead, may help you in just about every situation you face. One of them is, Father, you want to you translate? Or, oh, all right, okay. Uh, it's Leviticus 19, 18. Love your neighbor as yourself. In other words, treat everyone else the way you want to be treated, unless you're a sadomasochist. But otherwise, Keep it in mind. Could you imagine how nice the world would be if we all followed that one simple commandment of the Bible? What if we just texted unto others as we would like to be texted to? Even if someone's angry with us, even if we're angry with them. The rabbis of ancient times, literally a few thousand years ago, in the Talmud wrote, Heve danet kol ha'adam lechaf zechut. Judge your fellow human being with the benefit of the doubt. What would happen if we actually gave everyone the benefit of the doubt? Wouldn't we learn a bit more about each other that way? Wouldn't we all have an opportunity to explain ourselves? Wouldn't we all want the benefit of the doubt? These days, we take offense rather easily. I'm old enough to remember the statement, no offense intended, that someone who had just said something offensive might add. Does anyone remember the polite response that used to be given? It was none taken. 
I haven't heard that for years. It's like another old adage, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. Well, names do hurt, sometimes as bad as sticks and stones. But what the saying really meant was, I refuse to experience that emotional pain. I refuse to let it stop me from being happy. Things are different these days. You say something that's out of line at work and you say, no offense, your boss may say instead of none taken, you're fired. We do take offense these days, all of us do. Heck, we take offense on behalf of others. We get offended on behalf of total strangers. We are vicariously offended. And we don't just take offense, we hoard it. We do so, of course, for good reason. We are compassionate. We are passionate about that offense. We want to change it and stop it and punish it. But we must stop to see what it's doing to us. We end up walking around constantly angry and upset and offended. Our taking offense makes us chronically angry. It's nearly impossible to be happy. And if we are not happy, we cannot get the most out of life. We cannot become the best person we ought to be. And so the Bible gives us another command. In the same enchanted chapter, lo tikon velo titor, it tells us, do not take vengeance and do not bear a grudge. Could you imagine life with no grudges? Do you know how free we would be with no grudges to hold on to? Do you know how free most of us would be if we didn't hold so tenaciously onto those grudges, even when we forget why we're even holding on to those grudges. There's a story about a great sage in Eastern Europe who was known to have had an amazing memory. He never forgot anything he ever read or heard. Invariably, however, he would always forget when someone offended him. We forget when someone does something good for us. But the moment they do something bad to us, we declare this is unforgivable. You mean if I'm really repentant, if I'm really remorseful, if I'm generally, genuinely sorry for what I've done to you, is it still unforgivable? That, by the way, is one of the reasons I believe in God. Because I like knowing that even if you say that it's unforgivable, God can still forgive me. Our obsession with offense is pretty intense these days. It's as if we're compensating for all the untaken offense for the last century. We're adopting it. For me, it's very much like Jewish guilt. Ever since our matriarch Rebecca in the Bible takes on Jacob's sin, you remember the story, those of you who had Bible with me probably do. Uh, Isaac is old and blind. Rebecca knows that her younger son, Jacob, needs to get the blessing, and so she dresses him up like his brother Esau, the, the fighter, the hunter, and she, she puts all kinds of things that would make a blind Isaac think that this Jacob is actually his eldest son, Esau. And he looks at his mother and he says, but, but father will find out. He'll know that I'm not Esau and he'll hold it against me. I'll be cursed. And Rebecca says, don't worry, my son. Your sin will be on my head. I will accept that guilt. And Jewish mothers have been taking on the guilt of their children ever since. And boy, can they share it right back with their kids. You never call. Why don't you ever call? You can't pick up a phone. You make enough money. You could call. It's like the Jewish mother who tells her friend she hasn't eaten in an entire month. Why not, asks the friend. She says, because in case my son calls, I shouldn't have a mouthful of food. Instead of taking offense, we need to give hope. Instead of hoarding offense on behalf of others, we need to share goodness and posi positivity and, and all kinds of good possibilities for the future with others. We need to take those grudges and 
Let it go, let it go. We need to stop sharing misery and start sharing goodness. Now, don't get the wrong idea. I'm not saying to ignore offense, to ignore evil, to ignore injustice. The Bible also commands us to stop evil and injustice and, inf and offense. And in the book of Deuteronomy in chapter 16, we're called to tzedek, tzedek, tirdof, justice, justice shalt thou pursue. Don't just give a nod toward justice, but do justice. It's the only place in the Bible, in the Torah, where the command is actually repeated. We have an obligation to do justice. We need to try as hard as we can to get it right. But the Bible gives us a heads up on how to do that. First, lo tisnat achicha bilvavecha. Don't hate your brother, your sibling, your fellow human being in your heart. It's pretty novel for the Old Testament. Usually we're commanded how to act, not how to feel. Hatred is a feeling. Don't hate means don't offend, but it also means don't hate the one that you disagree with. And instead of hatred of that person, we're commanded, you have an obligation to reproach your neighbor. What does reproach mean? It means to scold, to admonish, to educate, to reprove, to chide, to rebuke your neighbor. But the verse concludes, veloti salav chait, but don't bring about sin because of it. In other words, set straight the person who's doing wrong, or even thinking wrong in your estimation, but don't bring about further wrongdoing because of it. Don't scold the person if he's pointing a gun at you. Be gentle. Don't scream and yell at someone you disagree with. Have a discussion with them. Hear their arguments and then show them why yours are better. In other words, hold people accountable, but do so nicely. May this crazy way of graduating, which in a way is also a blessing, of course, bring about healing of all kinds, both physical and emotional, from virus to injustice. May we learn to stress the joys, the blessings, the gratitude we have for so much of life, despite its dark sides and its sad and hurtful memories. And I'm now doing a commercial for foster care and adoption. Our families fostered over 70 different kids over the past few decades. Some were with us overnight, and some never left. Even after they've grown up, I can't get rid of them. They're all very different from size and shape and color, but we've learned so much from them. We've learned what it's like to raise a child from four weeks old whose skin is very dark because her parents are African-American, whose hair was very frizzy until she became a teenager, and then her hair became very expensive. And we know her experiences in life will be challenging because of what everyone sees first about her. And another teenage daughter we adopted cannot see her sister's dark skin because she's completely blind. And yet she is a better judge of character and has more insight than all 11 of our other children who were blessed with good vision. If becoming a foster or adoptive parent someday fits into your life, please consider it. It may be the greatest blessing you could ever have. I even know a priest who has done so. I'll conclude with these words from the Book of Numbers which I probably couldn't share if this were a public university instead of a Catholic college. So my heartfelt thanks to Father Ryan and all of the King's community for this amazing opportunity. Yivarechecha Adonai v'yishmarecha. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Ya'er Adonai panav elecha v'chunecha. May the Lord turn his face to you and be gracious to you. Yisa Adonai panav elecha v'yasem lecha. Shalom. May God shine his countenance upon you and grant you peace. Amen.
Master of Education. Through the legal authority vested in King's College and upon the recommendation of the faculty and the fulfillment of stated requirements, the degree of Master of Education is conferred on the approved candidates. Master of Science, through the legal authority vested in King's College and upon the recommendation of the faculty and the fulfillment of stated requirements, the degree of Master of Science is conferred on the approved candidates. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts, through the legal authority vested in King's College and upon the recommendation of the faculty and the fulfillment of stated requirements, the degree of Bachelor of Arts is conferred on the approved candidates. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, through the legal authority vested in King's College and upon the recommendation of the faculty and the fulfillment of stated requirements, the degree of Bachelor of Science is conferred on the approved candidates. <laughs> Rabbi Larry Kaplan, spiritual leader, teacher, caregiver. The President and Board of Directors of King's College greet you in the name of the Lord. Rabbi Larry Kaplan has made Northeastern Pennsylvania a better place since his arrival in 1998. His ability to build relationships, find common ground with others, and demonstrate selfless service to neighbors in need make him a jewel of our community. A native of Philadelphia, Rabbi Kaplan earned his Bachelor of Arts degree in Judaic Studies from Brandeis University and his master's degree and rabbinic ordination from the Jewish Theological Seminary of America in 1987. He served pulpits in Hartford, Connecticut and Miami, Florida before he and his family made the greater Wilkes-Barre community their home. The spiritual leader of Temple Israel in Kingston, Pennsylvania, Rabbi Kaplan has served in this role for more than 20 years a beloved leader of his congregation, Rabbi Kaplan's teaching and advising extend far beyond the people of Temple Israel. He has taught courses in Old Testament at King's College, World Religions at Misericordia University, and Jewish History at Wyoming Seminary. As an advisor, Rabbi Kaplan has served as the Jewish chaplain at the Wilkes-Barre VA Hospital and as chaplain at the Dallas State Correctional Institution. He has contributed countless hours to the people of the Wyoming Valley as a community volunteer, serving on the boards of many local organizations, including the Interfaith Council, the Downtown Ministerium, Ruth's Place, Step by Step, the Jewish Community Alliance, CASA of Luzerne County, and as past chair of the advisory board of Luzerne County Children and Youth Services. Rabbi Kaplan is married to Jerry Kaplan, principal of the Temple Israel Hebrew School. They came to the Wyoming Valley with five children and have since adopted several more. They have an extraordinary history of serving as foster parents to children in need, having welcomed more than 70 children into their home in a foster capacity throughout the years. Rabbi Kaplan's positive presence in our community as a faithful man of God and as a selfless man of the people has earned the respect, admiration, and gratitude of our community. His example demonstrates the spirit of the Holy Cross commitment to transform minds and hearts with zeal in communities of hope. As a mark of esteem and recognition, therefore, the President and Board of Directors of King's College do this day create and proclaim Rabbi Larry Kaplan, Doctor of Humanities, Honoris Causa, in memorial 
and in testimony whereof they have issued these, their formal letters patent at King's College in the city of Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, this 16th day of August in the year of our Lord, 2020, and the 74th year since the founding of the college in 1946. Reverend John J. Ryan, CSC, PhD, President. James A. Gilmartin, 62, educator, community stalwart, philanthropist, and proud son of King's College. The President and Board of Directors of King's College greet you in the name of the Lord. Countless people attribute positive developments in their lives to a teacher who believed in them, challenged them, and inspired them. James A. Gilmartin is one of those special educators. A native of Pittston, Pennsylvania, Mr. Gilmartin built an extraordinary life from his modest beginnings. Losing both parents as a young man, working in a dress factory to make ends meet, attending college at night while working full-time and overcoming cancer, he is one to emphasize his blessings and express gratitude for those who helped him. He has channeled this gratitude into a relentless focus on service to others, especially as it relates to the education of our children. Teacher, coach, principal, superintendent, volunteer firefighter, writer, and selfless community servant, Mr. Gilmartin has deployed his talent, resources, and influence to serve the greater good throughout his life. Soon after graduating from King's in 1962, he began his education career at Pittston City High School as a teacher and a coach. In 1967, Mr. Gilmartin and his wife, Pauline, moved to Hamburg, Pennsylvania to accept his first job as an education administrator. That move began his commitment to the people of Berks County, which included a 25-year career with the Hamburg Area School District, 14 of which he served as superintendent. Mr. Gilmartin's generosity to the organizations, communities, and people who have supported him is extraordinary. He has served organizations such as the Hamburg Center, Berks County Municipal Authority, and the Berks County Community Foundation. At King's, his support of our students includes the establishment and funding of the Greater Pittston Friendly Sons of St. Patrick James A. Gilmartin Scholarship, which has provided many young people the ability to afford a King's education. James Gilmartin's commitment to making our community better through education, service, and philanthropy reflects the ideals of King's College and the power of the Holy Cross mission to transform minds and hearts with zeal in communities of hope. As a mark of esteem and recognition, therefore the President and Board of Directors of King's College do this day create and proclaim James A. Gilmartin, 62, Doctor of Humanities, Honoris Causa. In memorial and in testimony whereof they have issued these their formal letters patent at King's College in the city of Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, this 16th day of August in the year of our Lord 2020 and the 74th year since the founding of the college in 1946. Reverend John J. Ryan, CSC, Ph.D., President. John P. Moses, Esquire, 68, Counselor, Influencer, difference maker and proud son of king's college the president and board of directors of king's college greet you in the name of the lord attorney john p moses 68 has devoted his professional life to his clients to his community and to neighbors in need currently serving as of counsel in the chairman's group of philadelphia-based global law firm cozen o'connor attorney moses reach and experience are vast his reputation as a highly regarded litigator and fierce defender of his clients is known far and wide. 
As a public servant, his work has taken many forms, including service as a solicitor for the Luzerne County Clerk of Courts and chief counsel for the impeachment of Pennsylvania Supreme Court Justice Rolf Larson. As a business leader and philanthropist, his accomplishments include service as chair of the Northeast Pennsylvania Heart Association, chairman and president of the Board of Governors of St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, and as chief executive officer for ALSAC, the fundraising arm of St. Jude. Attorney Moses' board experience also includes Villanova University's Charles Widger School of Law, the Commonwealth Medical College, now Geisinger Commonwealth School of Medicine, Highmark Inc., and First National Community Bank Corp. Inc. Attorney Moses also serves as chairman of the board of All One Foundation and Charities. A longtime resident of Wilkes Bear with his wife Joyce, Attorney Moses is a graduate of King's College and Villanova University School of Law. His family is a King's family. Many relatives, including his son Peter, are King's alumni. While today is very special for him, Attorney Moses has long been a part of King's College commencement ceremonies, having established the John P. Moses Award for Public Law, which is annually awarded to a graduating King's senior. Attorney John Moses' pursuit of professional excellence, steadfast devotion to his family and colleagues, commitment to making our community better, and generosity to his alma mater reflect the ideals of King's College and the power of the Holy Cross mission to transform minds and hearts with zeal in communities of hope. As a mark of esteem and recognition, therefore the President and Board of Directors of King's College do this day create and proclaim John P. Moses, 68, Doctor of Humanities, Honoris Causa. In memorial and in testimony whereof they have issued these, their formal letters patent, at King's College in the city of Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, this 16th day of August, in the year of our Lord, 2020, and the 74th year since the founding of the college in 1946. Reverend John J. Ryan, CSC, Ph.D., President. D'Angelo Abutanos Amy L. Biella Benjamin V. Buring Audra M. Chompy Maggie Gola Michael R. Grace Caitlin E. Hajimahalis Karen Ann Hawkins Ryan M. Hettis Kelsey Mara Labuda Amy E. Latella Gianpaolo Francesco Licata Reina Cantoran Logsdon Andrew S. Manganero Elizabeth J. Martin Rebecca Scott Mattis Christopher Mears Robert Moulton Nancy J. Palermo Brian Paredes Gina M. Peperno Jody Ann Perry Katie Lynn Scott Wen Shua Sun Jamar T. Thigpen Quincy Page Wilkins Brianna Marie Wiberski Ilana Falcone Sophia L. Green Samantha E. Crute Jennifer Olzinski Natalie Rose Pasilio Kathleen Kelly Sanders Renee Louise Sozar Tracy Ann Tomasura Kristen M. Christian Kristen M. Evans Tegan J. Hall Andrea D. Kordick Haned Abwalburak Ibrahim Khalil Alisa Ahmed S. Alosis John P. Andrews Susan A. Branton Margaret E. Brutico Kara Kapazuka Ronald Christopher Carter Matthew Doherty 
Christopher R. Fazzini, Amber Healy, Jesse David Hickland, Thomas Robert Landon, Alyssa Michelle Lee, Dale Cody Lehman, Victoria M. Lewis, Hue Li, Catherine A. Lincoln, D.O. Jedediah I. McClintock, Charles Joseph McFadden, Jean F. Minor, Ming Hao Piao, Ashley L. Schaefer, Paige Adela Tiedek, Allison T. Teal, Aishin Tian, Christopher Thomas Tobias, Anthony J. Trainello III, Alexa J. Trentalange, Pong Fei Zhao, Morgan A. Albrecht, Emily Rose Barbella, Kara S. Bednarik, Elias Barrow Jr., Aaliyah M. Blazik, Mary Catherine Braun, Daniel I. Kabarkas, Amanda Nicole Carroll, Anna Marie R. Shafalo, Maria Victoria Chawinski, Riley Joseph Close, Bryn K. Connor, Brianna L. Contreras, Melissa L. Dagnall, Allison M. DeVore, Taylor M. Marks, Allie M. Feathers, Angela L. Ferreira, Mallory Elizabeth Fox, Andrea Barbara Galvin, Benjamin C. Gleason, Michael K. Gorski, Nicholas Griffin Gushka, Leah S. Hance, Leah M. Heffelfinger, Hannah Lynn Jenkins, Bethany F. Jones, Alejandro A. Kashani, Magdalen S. Kelly, Jenna Kimmerly, Jillian A. Korjeski, Madeline Casey Cum, Justin John Kuna, Elizabeth Josephine Kutza, Kylie B. Leckie, Corey A. Lisa, Samuel M. Lofredo, Brooke Lutz, Victor T. Mallory III, Matthew Mantilla, James J. McGuigan, Jr., Ashley Marie McManus, Nicole A. Mealy, Marley Ann Mierzwa, Sonia U. Ocolo, Stephanie Teresa Orzelik, Devin Alexandra Pepe, Lauren Elena Phillips, Brianna Nicole Pitchler, Courtney Ann D. Randall, Abigail N. Reimer, Amber Nicole Saylor, Amanda Marie Schwartman, Elizabeth A. Scalpi, Jacqueline Lee Simonetti, Abigail M. Skeen, Haley A. Stackhouse, Ashley T. Strasdus, Brad Russell Tolan, Mark P. Voyak, Alexis M. Walls, Melissa Grace Wasileski, Carolyn A. Weber, Eric Douglas Webster, Catrice Elaine Worley, Alexandra Marie Wolk, 
Joshua L. Bailey, graduating cum laude. Caleb A. Cooley. Regina M. Dino. Jessica Lauren Einters. Cheyenne Hope Huffman, recipient of Father Murgis Memorial Award for Communications. Brian J. Jones. Bailey M. Clocko, graduating magna cum laude. Catherine F. Pugh. Marcus A. Sewell. Robert M. Sudnick. Jamal Abolban. Faisal Saad Ali Almarzok. Yusuf T. Alosayami. Mohammed Nasser Al Koreni. Abdulaziz Ahmed Al Wasali. Azam Munir Bawedan. Michael L. Beck, graduating magna cum laude with a second major in sociology. Alaxa Lane Blandina, graduating summa cum laude with a second major in sociology. Joseph Francis Damiano. Mia Cristina Dardinelli, graduating magna cum laude with a second major in sociology. Kyle Matthew Dugan. Lauren Jean Dwyer, with a second major in sociology. Anthony K. Easter. Joshua J. Flynn, with a second major in sociology. Jarrett Thomas Joseph Gabriel, graduating magna cum laude. James S. Gill, graduating cum laude with a second major in sociology. Matthew D. Harrison. Joseph D. Kelly IV, with a second major in sociology. Brett Michael Kennedy, with a second major in sociology. Nicholas Clem Edward Kopko. Megan M. Kosek, with a second major in psychology. John Eric Kozich, Jr. Megan Elizabeth McGuire. Dylan Metzger, with a second major in sociology. Hayden Moody. Justin S. Muscovich, graduating magna cum laude. Omar Nijme, with a second major in psychology. Abdulaziz Faisal Nono. Theodore J. Okoski, Kyle F. Osifat, Joseph J. Paparazzo, Taylor Madison Rudy, graduating cum laude, recipient of James J. Doyle CSC Volunteer of the Year Award, with his second major in psychology, Jessica D. Valencia, with a second major in Spanish. Jacob Albert Reedy, graduating magna cum laude with a second major in sociology. Mishari Abdullah Al-Bahat, with a second major in political science and a third major in criminal justice. Eugene J. Gibbons, graduating cum laude, recipient of Honorable Frank L. Panola Award for the Pursuit of Law. Jaleel J. Lowe III. Allison Olivia Moyer, graduating summa cum laude, recipient of S. Idris Lay Memorial Award for the Highest Academic Achievement and Josephine T. Moran Foreign Language Award and W. A. Kilburn Memorial Award for Philosophy, with a second major in Spanish and a third major in Philosophy. Anna Marie Beyer. Sabrina M. Rios Nicole S. Costeras Nicole Marie Hafner Karen Mary Paul Helensky Kathleen M. Mallon Andrea Nicole Norisi Taylor Michelle Norris Juliana E. Oberto, Alyssa Marie Santarelli, Kristen Madison Wild, 
Darren Bay, graduating magna cum laude. Mallory Fox, graduating magna cum laude. Rachel E. Fratello, graduating cum laude. Olivia Gariglia. Tara Kirsten Johnson, graduating summa cum laude. Tiana M. Kilborn, graduating magna cum laude. Violetta M. Matei. Michaela Elizabeth Peel, graduating cum laude. Miranda Christine Romanovsky. Catherine Healy Walsh DePaulo, graduating cum laude. Alexandria E. Yadsko. Mackenzie K. Yorai, graduating summa cum laude, recipient of Dr. Adam Dreyer Award for Demonstrated Excellence, Teacher Education Program. Kaylee Kerensky. Jennifer M. Smalley. Mohammed A. Almomen. Olivia S. Alvarez Reza. Brendan M. Bourne. Jolie A. Coates. Sean T. Homanchak. Malcolm M. Lumia, recipient of King's College Military Leadership Award. Dakota H. Quick. Michael Robert Eichhorn. Evan F. Leonardis. Liliana Beatrice Cepeda, graduating magna cum laude. Bethany Teresa Makuda, graduating summa cum laude, recipient of award of the Bishop Hafey Assembly Fourth Degree Knights of Columbus for History, with a second major in political science. Francesco Pesch, graduating summa cum laude, recipient of Donald W. Farmer Memorial Award for History. Joshua R. Sayer, graduating cum laude. Matthew S. Yeckel, graduating cum laude. Madison Lynn Miller, graduating cum laude, recipient of Dorothy Day Volunteer Award in recognition of four years of service. Malcolm A. Johnston Taylor A. Kane Christian J. Martinez Montalvo Graduating cum laude with a second major in psychology Mohammed B. Alamer Turkai F. L. Harbi Connor Brady, recipient of Robert A. Lodge Memorial Award for Graduate Study Jordan M. Connor. Damian P. Farrell, recipient of John F. Kennedy Award for Political Science. Jake Sean Sarwar, recipient of Temple B'nai B'rith Award for Public Administration. Courtney Lynn Allen, graduating cum laude. Christopher Todd Boucher, graduating magna cum laude. Laura K. Campbell. Melanie E. Carberry, graduating cum laude. Allison Blair Craigle, graduating cum laude. Tiffany A. Kelovich, graduating cum laude. Jennifer Lotney, graduating summa cum laude, recipient of Vincent D. Garvey Jr. Memorial Award for English. Perla Almonte Moran, with a second major in criminal justice. Mackenzie E. Biddle, with a second major in criminal justice. Maya Dominic Brown. Carilda Hernandez Martinez. Talia A. Johnson. Kendra Lynn Kenny. Anthony B. Maloney. Kyle John Miller. Melani Olivo de los Santos, with a second major in criminal justice. Megan E. Padden, graduating magna cum laude. 
Wakiria Lizette Perez, graduating magna cum laude with a second major in Spanish. Jacqueline N. Rocha. Brittany Lynn Rose, graduating cum laude. Joshua M. Smith. Chloe Marie Stos. Daniela Mercedes Vigueras, graduating cum laude. Joel Charles. Jennifer Suarez Vergara, with a second major in criminal justice. Mary Wood, graduating summa cum laude, recipient of 2020 King's College Outstanding Adult Learner of the Year Award. Xiomara Amigon. Juan Manuel Martinez. Ashley E. Certival, graduating cum laude, recipient of Marie F. Luxick Memorial Award for Theater. Noah D. Adams. Ali Pearl Ballatin. Dominic Joseph Barbarulo, graduating magna cum laude. Aaron C. Bartron, graduating magna cum laude, recipient of Distinguished Achievement Award in Athletic Training. William T. Brack. Michael I. Butler. Peter R. Deeb. Antonio F. Duardo, graduating magna cum laude. Brandon J. George. Catherine Rose Godfrey. Brandon M. Goodlevidge. Jonathan R. Hoyt. Nicholas M. Litzy, graduating magna cum laude. Kelly J. Pierce. Kieran R. Quinn. James M. Willis. Jordan Chase Barnhill, graduating cum laude, recipient of the All College Award, with a second major in neuroscience. Abigail Bradigan, graduating cum laude. Ryan M. Caffrey, with a second major in neuroscience. Sherby Hector. Amy L. Kaiser. Tyler F. Carilla. Caitlin Elizabeth Lordy. Alex Maya Romero, graduating summa cum laude, recipient of Regina Award for Biology. Joseph W. Moriali. David A. Niles, Jr. Jordan Matthew Pritchard. Marielle Roberts McDonald, graduating cum laude with a second major in neuroscience. Morgan L. Swartwood. Sarah Elizabeth Wolbert, with a second major in psychology. Zoe Noel Weisenegger, graduating summa cum laude, recipient of Dr. Paul Lawrence and attorney Marion Bucaferni Best in Science Award. Mohamed Owaid M. Al-Sali. Ryan Joseph Crossan. Hannah Rose Grossman, graduating magna cum laude, recipient of Philadelphia Chapter American Institute of Chemist Award. William Allen Hearn, graduating summa cum laude, recipient of Reverend James J. Sheehan Memorial Award in Chemistry. Savannah Rose Lynch, graduating cum laude. Connor J. Murray, graduating cum laude. Cody A. Prindle. David W. Rist, graduating magna cum laude, recipient of Susquehanna Valley Section American Chemical Society Award. Nicholas G. Anderson, graduating cum laude. Joseph Dominic DeMace. Cooper Allen Johnson. Alec Christopher Rothrock. Ahmed Ayada Alanazi, Christopher J. Coakley, Daniel J. Peshala, 
Courtney S. Rikoski, graduating magna cum laude, recipient of Lee Swineberg Jr. Memorial Award for Computer Science with a second major in mathematics. David M. Batula. Natalie Margaret Coffey with a second major in environmental science. Matthew James Marsh. Jacqueline Page Molnar. David Torres. Heather N. Gormley. Ariana M. Liza, graduating magna cum laude. Nilang P. Sutar. Kyle Daniel Sweats. Audrey A. Williams, with a second major in Spanish. Mohammed N. Abu Albarak, graduating magna cum laude. Monica Marie Berda. Jordan Quinton Downs. Devin Hunsinger. Christina C. Coker. Joshua R. Nagel. Cassandra Shinsky, graduating magna cum laude. Abigail Strennan. Josh Walsh, graduating magna cum laude. Megan Nicole Witt. Joshua Williams. Robert W. Zabirsky III, graduating magna cum laude. Ivy R. Appleyard. Paula W. Mariah. Megan E. Radler. Nicholas A. Kabishin, graduating magna cum laude, recipient of Reverend James E. Klein Award for Mathematics, with a second major in Economics. Bincy Babu, graduating magna cum laude. Emily A. Beeler. Brielle Autumn Brace. Michael Allen Brandel Jr., graduating cum laude, recipient of St. Andre Bassett Award for service in the spirit of Congregation of Holy Cross. Tyler S. Brown, graduating cum laude. Alexis Marie Cardone, graduating magna cum laude. Demetrios Carellas, graduating magna cum laude. Elizabeth A. Corbett. Grace Ann Curran, graduating magna cum laude. Allison Davis, graduating cum laude. Ryan J. Davis, graduating cum laude. Jennifer Fleissner, graduating summa cum laude. Martina Louise Gale, graduating magna cum laude. Reese Daniel Hammaker, graduating cum laude with a second major in neuroscience and a third major in psychology. Shirley C. Hare, graduating cum laude. Kaylin Carol Hillier, graduating cum laude. Catherine Mary Hole, graduating magna cum laude. Jason R. Hoops. Nicole M. Hopper, graduating magna cum laude. Luke Hummel, graduating cum laude. Travis George Hunyera, graduating magna cum laude. Nicholas Charles James, graduating cum laude. Christopher E. Jaycox, graduating cum laude. Kelsey Ann Kasiski, graduating magna cum laude. Richard L. Kell, graduating cum laude. Yoon Seo Kim, Graduating cum laude. Maureen Elizabeth Klope. Graduating magna cum laude. Nathan Koshok. Graduating cum laude. Janelle Kothi. Graduating summa cum laude. Michaela N. LeBlanc. Graduating magna cum laude. Anna C. LeCalamita. Graduating magna cum laude. Zachary T. Legru, graduating magna cum laude. Erica Ann Lichardone, graduating magna cum laude. Sabrina Victoria Legio, graduating magna cum laude. 
Brianna N. Longo. John A. Macri IV, graduating magna cum laude. Gabriela Martinez, graduating cum laude. Mary Rose Mauro, graduating cum laude. Laura Lynn McGovern, graduating magna cum laude. Nicole Lynn McQuillan, graduating magna cum laude. Jacqueline M. Michalski, graduating cum laude. Marissa Elizabeth Moriel. Jenny Lynn Neifert, graduating cum laude. Christina Lynn Newcamp, graduating magna cum laude. Samantha N. Nogula, graduating cum laude. Nicholas Anthony Novak, graduating cum laude. Eric Charles Olson, graduating cum laude. Amanda M. Pacenta, graduating magna cum laude. Brianne E. Pacenta, graduating magna cum laude. Danielle N. Putnam, graduating magna cum laude. Akshata Rao, graduating cum laude. Paige Cummings Reese, graduating magna cum laude. Samantha A. Reinheimer. Molly Christine Roth, graduating magna cum laude. Joseph C. Rotundo, graduating magna cum laude. Zyla Monet Russell, graduating cum laude. Samantha Joe Russin, graduating magna cum laude. Alex Mitchell Joseph Schechterly, graduating magna cum laude. Jessica Kara Schenfeld, graduating magna cum laude. Kristen N. Schmidt, graduating summa cum laude. Sarah Marie Schultz, graduating magna cum laude. Julie Ann Selinski, graduating magna cum laude. Kirsten T. Siwi, graduating magna cum laude. Emily Catherine Skalenka, graduating cum laude. Alyssa Christine Sons. Jacob T. Stancato, graduating cum laude. Lauren E. Sterner, graduating magna cum laude. Brooke Elizabeth Stevens, graduating cum laude. Carly Tepfenhart, graduating magna cum laude. Nico E. Vasquez, graduating magna cum laude. Valerie Elaine Warmkessel, graduating magna cum laude. Eric O. Weiss, graduating magna cum laude. Wissam A. Alyahia. Andrew R. Davis, graduating cum laude. Nicole Ann Grandy. Julia Marie Hayfley. Brianna M. Halter, graduating cum laude. Sabrina N. Jera, with a second major in psychology. Angelica Christine Krisiak. Prachi A. Majamundar. Desiree M. Malakuski, graduating summa cum laude. Philip P. Rizzo. Bridget R. Ryan, graduating cum laude. Nico Sacchetti. Christine M. Bonceschi, R.N., graduating summa cum laude. Serena Mihal, graduating summa cum laude. Michelle Rose Ferris, graduating summa cum laude. Kimberly R. Thomas, graduating summa cum laude. Benjamin F. Baileys, graduating cum laude. Noah P. Dolphin, graduating cum laude. Joseph S. Gagliardi. Aaron T. Griffith, graduating cum laude. Michael Allen Havrila, graduating magna cum laude. Alec James Leonard. Zachary J. Leskowitz, graduating magna cum laude. William P. Ramsey. Aaron Lynn Schmidt, graduating summa cum laude. Anthony J. Thomas, graduating cum laude. 
Mackenzie A. Bilbo, graduating cum laude. Callie E. Demko. Caitlin Ann Philipson, with a second major in Spanish. Caitlin Christina Talbot, graduating magna cum laude, recipient of Grace Coakley Brooks Award for Excellence in Psychology. Abdul Rahman W. Algebrin, graduating cum laude. Mohammed Aid Al Muteri. Ahmad Abdullah Anakli. Benjamin H. Bacanis, graduating magna cum laude with a second major in finance. Shane Arthur Borisuk. Connor Conlin, with a second major in marketing. Aidan Christian Di Camillo. Kayla Ann Dillinger, graduating magna cum laude with a second major in management. Alistair S. Dinan. Esteban Espinoza. Chase Brennan Feeney, graduating magna cum laude. Kieran Emily Frankenfield, graduating magna cum laude. Tabitha E. Grabowski, graduating cum laude. Rachel Elizabeth Healy, graduating cum laude with a second major in management. Sierra E. Hembury. Charles L. Hennebal III. Shelby Hoffman. Cassandra May Holbrook with a second major in marketing. Andrew R. Hudak with a second major in finance. Justin Matthew Janusko with a second major in finance. Daniel Julia graduating cum laude. Catherine E. Kanyorski. Rebecca Gail Kinzinger graduating summa cum laude. Daniel J. Kopitsky. Haley A. Kramer graduating magna cum laude. Matthew Lebensky graduating summa cum laude. Rebecca Estefany Lopez Ramirez. Brooke Lydia Miller. Nathan J. Morgan, graduating summa cum laude, recipient of Theta Alpha Kappa Undergraduate Achievement Award and Christ the King Award for Theology, with a second major in Theology. James J. Morris V, graduating magna cum laude. Sean Michael Morrissey, graduating cum laude. Christopher S. Newhouse, graduating cum laude. Brent Tyler Pintkowski. Natalie Anastasia Poulton, graduating summa cum laude, recipient of John F. Curley CPA Award for Accounting Achievement. Rebecca R. Prochak, graduating magna cum laude. Emily R. Ralston, graduating magna cum laude. Matthew S. Ramos, with a second major in economics. Sophia Saknovich, graduating summa cum laude, recipient of George P. Benaglia Language Award and Award of the Pennsylvania Institute of Certified Public Accountants, with a second major in Spanish. Matthew P. Sippel, graduating summa cum laude. Travis John Steele, graduating summa cum laude, recipient of the John T. Stapleton Memorial Award for Accounting. Michael G. Welch. Leo Aaron Valentine Welkers IV, with a second major in Finance. Adam Michael Wychok, graduating magna cum laude. Joshua M. Wynn, graduating cum laude, recipient of Accounting Association Award in memory of Chris Karmanik, with a second major in Management. Connor M. Zorger, with a second major in Management. Maryam Abdul Rahman Albasam. Razan Ziad Al Fayez. Ali A. Al Mumin. Saud F. Al Kahtani. Ahmad H. Arafshah. August Anton Axtman, graduating magna cum laude, recipient of William G. McGowan School of Business Achievement Award for Finance, with a second major in International Business and a third major in Management. John L. Camp. 
Jared H. Gambino Abdullah Ismail Nicholas A. Pelosi Ryan William Romeo Alexander T. Wampole Ray Jia Wang, graduating magna cum laude Camila S. Brent, graduating magna cum laude, recipient of William G. McGowan School of Business Achievement Award for Human Resources Management. Cody L. Evans. Mary-Kate McEwen. Idelis Reyes. Megan Charlotte Rossler, graduating magna cum laude with a second major in accounting. Allison T. Teal. Cameron H. Tuck, graduating cum laude. Krista Marie Vogue. Abdulwahed Saad Al Abdulwahed. Mansur S. Al Balawi. Faisal Al Kahtani. Rabai Abdullah Al Sayari. Turki Basenbul, graduating cum laude with a second major in marketing. David H. Emmett Joshua E. Frankovich, graduating magna cum laude, recipient of William G. McGowan School of Business Achievement Award for International Business, with a second degree in marketing. Anna Lisa Jolly, with a second major in marketing. Andreas R. Pullman Abdulaziz Alajmi Abdullah F. Abu Aldam, Majid Azib Al Gamdi, Bader M. Al Harbi, Mariam A. Almarhun, graduating cum laude, Isa A. Al Mohanadi, Salem H. Al Suleiman, Faisal Al Zakari, Elizabeth A. Foglietta. Kyle Scott Freebelin Ethan Paul Hazenzal, graduating magna cum laude with a second major in marketing. Matthew Hesse, graduating cum laude. Stephanie R. Jallen. Nina M. Jansowicz. Rachel A. Jones, graduating summa cum laude, recipient of John P. Moses Award for Public Law and William G. McGowan School of Business Achievement Award for Management. Jonathan J. King, graduating cum laude. Sophia M. Lavardi. Joseph C. Lenardi. Madison Laurel May. William O'Malley. Angela M. Piscitelli. Joshua D. Poplowski, graduating cum laude. Matthew E. Rodriguez. William Rogers. Peter M. Swartz, with a second major in accounting. Nicholas J. Vitanovic. Brennan J. Walsh. Abdullah S. Al Fayez, Mazen Al Hajri, Khalid Fale Al Shuter Al Harbi, Omar Fahad Al Malki, Basil Fahad Al Tunayan, Mohammed Samir Bawedan, Nicole Marie Berger, graduating magna cum laude with a second major in Spanish. Amanda Lucia Goss, graduating summa cum laude, additional degree in management. Khalid Mohammed Halawani. Dennis J. Kennedy, Jr. Noah A. Kita, graduating magna cum laude. Caitlin Kachansky, graduating cum laude. Ryan A. Lally. Priya A. Majamundar. Ian M. McClough, with a second major in international business. Kyle John McKiernan, graduating summa cum laude, recipient of William G. McGowan School of Business Achievement Award for Marketing, with a second major in management. 
Tyler B. Millen, graduating cum laude with a second major in entrepreneurship. Corey L. Montgomery. Elizabeth T. Nadiak. Matthew R. Nealon with a second major in management. Rifa Rafia Orpi. Tyler D. Papora, graduating cum laude. Remy A. Vada, graduating cum laude, recipient of Danielle Ruiz Murphy Award for an exceptional student. John C. Waring, Jr. Beth Admiral, Ph.D., recipient of the Herv A. LeBlanc Distinguished Service Professorship. Todd Gutkunst, Ph.D., recipient of Max and Tilly Rosen Award for Teaching Excellence. Gregory Janik, Ph.D., recipient of the Father Frank J. O'Hara Distinguished Service Professorship. Mark Marchese, Ph.D., recipient of the Reverend Donald J. Grimes CSC Award for Service Learning Teaching Excellence. Dr. Thomas Brady, 68, recipient of 2020 Alumni Award for Service to Society. Amy Gravino, 05, recipient of 2020 Leo Award. Dr. Edward Nardell, 68, recipient of 2020 Alumni Award for Service to Society. Gary Nielsen, 75, recipient of 2020 Alumni Award for Outstanding Professional Achievement, Business. Dr. James Post, 92, recipient of 2020 Alumni Award for Outstanding Professional Achievement, Arts and Sciences. Paul Pasak, Jr., 07, recipient of 2020 the Robert J. Eli Alumni Award for Outstanding Service to Alma Mater. Good afternoon. Since its founding in 1946, King's has been dedicated to the Holy Cross ideal of transforming minds and hearts with zeal in communities of hope. Graduates, we have all come together this afternoon to celebrate your transformation and commencement. On behalf of the, my fellow members of the Board of Directors, I would like to express our gratitude to all of our graduates who inspire us, each of us, to play the role that we do here at the college. Gratitude for your parents, family members, and friends who love you and have challenged you to overcome difficulties along the way, making this day possible. Gratitude for our administration, faculty, and staff who give of their lives to bring life to our mission. Gratitude to our benefactors whose generosity makes possible the real life student stories that walk among us each day. Gratitude for the Diocese of Scranton and the Congregation of Holy Cross, without which none of this would be. I'm also here to welcome you as a colleague, as a peer, as a fellow King's College alumnus. In some ways, it may seem as if your relationship with King's is ending now that you have earned your degree. But your relationship with King's has only just begun your friends, your professors, your mentors, your classmates, your fellow alumni, your school should be a part of your life for the rest of your life. One of the joys of my life is the collection of relationships that I have with members of the King's family. And some of the most gratifying experiences of my life are when I connect with King's students and King's alumni. They inspire me, you inspire me. So stay engaged, be involved, remain a loyal monarch, because at King's College, it's not about four years, it's about the rest of your life. Welcome to the alumni family, and congratulations to the class of 2020. <laughs> it's my privilege and honor to welcome back to the podium our president, Father John Ryan, for some closing remarks and the benediction.
Thank you, Tom. Uh, dear graduates of the class of 2020, there are approximately 7.6 billion people in the world today. Only a very small percentage, around 7% of that number, can call themselves college graduates. You have joined that small elite group. Graduates, you have achieved this unique status by your hard work and talent. But you also owe a debt of gratitude to those who helped and supported you along the way. Your parents, grandparents, siblings, spouses, and close friends. These people believe in you. In many cases, they have sacrificed for you. They invested in you, not just monetarily, but with time, attention, care, and affection. They were with you in your great moments, and they calm you in your struggles. I would ask this King's College class of 2020 to remember and give thanks for all these quiet heroes in your life, and to take up the challenge to emulate, to follow their examples by your own lives. My dear graduates, we call this ceremony commencement for a very particular reason. For you commence, you begin the rest of your life. It has been our deep privilege to have you in our midst these past four years or so. It was here that we challenged you. It was here that you formed new insights into life new insights to the world around you, new insights into your very selves. It was here that you formed deep friendships that will last for the rest of your lives. You are prepared well to meet the challenges of your chosen field and to meet the challenges of life. Today, you add to your identity that of being a King's College graduate. King's will always be your home do not hesitate to come back. Now, please stand and join me in the benediction. Lord God, in every time and place you send forth your sons and daughters to renew the face of the earth. We, the community of King's College, beg you to pour out your spirit upon the class of 2020. Fill them with gratitude for the ways in which their minds and hearts have been transformed to be instruments of your transforming presence in the world. Fill them with gratitude for the ways in which they have experienced kings as a nurturing and caring community and enable them to create communities of nurture and care wherever you lead them. Fill them with gratitude for the hope that lives in their hearts through their service of their sisters and brothers, and enable them to bring hope to others by lives of self-emptying love and concern. Send them forth in joy and peace to renew the face of the earth with the fullness of your blessing. May the blessing of Almighty God descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Now please join me in singing the Alma Mater. <laughs>